Hello students, let us start with the next module of this chapter, binomial distribution. And here we are going to continue with problems on it. So the question given to her here is as follows. The probability that lamp in a classroom will be burnt out is 0.3. Six such lamps are fitted in the classroom. If it is known that the classroom is unusable, if the number of lamps burning in it is less than four, find the probability that classroom cannot be used on a random occasion. So here we have to find out the probability that we cannot use the classroom. Now, as the data is given, the classroom is unusable when the number of lamps burning in it are less than four. So therefore, here we will start the solution as follows. Let X be the number of lamps burnt out. After that, probability that lamp is burnt out, it is given to us as 0.3. So I will take P as 0.3. After this, Q will be 1 minus 0.3, which is equal to 0.7. And we have six such lamps. So I can say N will be equal to six. So here probability room cannot be used is equal to probability of lamps burning are less than four. So I need that P of X should be either zero or one or two or three. So therefore I can say that this is nothing but P of X equal to zero plus P of X equal to one plus P of X equal to two plus P of X equal to three. Now using the formula P of X equal to X, N C X P raised to X Q raised to N minus X. So substituting the values here, we get the terms as six C zero point three raised to zero into point seven raised to six plus six C one point three raised to one into point seven raised to five plus six C two into 0.3 square into 0.7 raised to 4 and the last value will be 6 C 3.3 cube into 0.7 raised to 3. So these are the values for the corresponding probabilities. Now when we start solving this value here, we observe that in the denominator we have 10 raised to 6 common from all the given values. So I can take out 10 raised to 6 in the denominator. Also if I observe the numerator, now I have it as 7 raised to 6 in the first term, 7 raised to 5 in the second term, 7 raised to 4 in the third and 7 cube in the fourth term. So I can take out 7 cube common. So 7 cube upon 10 raised to 6 is taken outside. The remaining terms will now be 6C0 which is 1 into 0.3 raised to 0 is 1 and 7 cube will be left which is 343. After that the next terms will be 6 into 3 into 49 plus 15 into 9 into 7 plus 20 into 27. So when I solve these values, I get the value as 343 upon 10 raised to 6 outside the bracket into 343 plus 882 plus 945 plus 540. Now on adding all these terms, I get the value as 343 upon 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 2710. So on further multiplication, I get the value as 929530 upon 10 raised to 6. So when I keep the decimals here, so I get the answer as 0 0.92953. So this is the probability that classroom cannot be used. Now let us move further for the next problem here. The next problem given to us is as follows. X follows a binomial distribution for 10 trials having probability of success as 0 0.2 then find p of x equal to 1 this is quite simple problem here the data is given in symbolic form so let us start with the solution let x follow binomial distribution for 10 trials with probability of success as 0 0.2 now i know that here n is nothing but 10 here p is given to us as 0.2 and i can say that q will be equal to 1 minus p that is equal to 0 0.8 now on further simplification i need to find out the value of p of x equal to 1 and i will be using the formula n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x so substituting the values here n c 1 p raised to 1 into q raised to n minus 1 here the values will now turn out to be as 10 c 1 into 0 0.2 raised to 1 into 0 0.8 raised to 9 on further calculation, the values will now turn out to be as 10 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.8 raised to 
9. Now this calculation has to be done using logarithmic table to reduce it further. But here we have the values as follows. I get the value on simplification as 2 into 0 0.1342. So, on multiplying these two values, I get the answer as 0 0.2684. So, this is probability of x equal to 1.